constant respect from the Georgia Bulldogs has really helped this young man just mature over the last couple of years into an outstanding sprinter. And here we get a look at Lance Lang from St. Louis, Missouri. He broke the freshman 100 meter record in his qualifying round yesterday that, was, that stood since 1969. Definitely gonna be a sprinter of the future for Kentucky. He's fourth in the 100, now coming back here in the 200. And then with a couple of entries in this final. And like the 100, only layered for LSU. They would really like to have more opportunities and points here. With the 5,000 meters coming up in Arkansas, about to score a boatload as well as Alabama. So Laird, with some pressure on him to try to bring home that 10 points. He's the number one 200 meter runner in the world in 2021. And no matter what he runs today, it's going to be wind aided, but he ran a 9.80 in the 100 with wind, he'll take it. Well, he just looks so mature as a, as a sprinter. We saw him at the Texas Relays and we went, wow. He ran that 1981 and he's been leading the world in the 200 meters with that time. But remember, Matthew Bowling won the NCAA championships. Terrence Laird indoors, he was the SEC indoor champion. And just, to, just the fact that we get to see these guys right next to each other racing again. We talked about these great matchups. One guy is definitely pushing the other. And just from a luck of the draw situation, Laird has bowling and found belay outside of him in this turn, which gives a uh, great opportunity for them to rabbit him through the turn. Because once he gets on that straightaway with that tailwind behind him, he's gone. Bowling ran a real good 200 at the SEC meet, but he was on the line several times and was disqualified. And then Laird just had a little bit of a hiccup with about 50 meters to go at the NCAA championships, and Bowling was able to beat him in Fayetteville for that title. Well, that was a tough lane five, too. We saw a couple of people stumble as they came oh, off the turn indoors at Fayetteville. But Terrence Laird comes off the turn on an outdoor track just so smoothly. He makes that transition, puts energy into the turn, comes off, stands it up. It's the best position that a sprinter, the most, fa the fastest position that a sprinter can be in as he stands up from that transition phase. So from lane five, it's Lance Lang, the fabulous freshman from Kentucky, then Laird, Bowling, and Fon Belay. Sure. A good, a good start for Bowling and Laird. And Lang is out early. In the all blue, it's Lang. Now here comes Laird. Look at this. He just pushed right through the middle of that turn, and it's Lang and Laird with Bowling trailing. It is Laird. Bowling chasing. He's going to run out of real estate. It's going to be Laird close between Bowling and Lang. Fombele coming up very late. 1982 for Laird, and it's legal. 1.7 meters of wind. It calmed down just long enough for him to run that 200. And he validates that time he ran earlier in the year that was wind aided. He has a legal 1982 under his belt, and more importantly, 10 points for LSU. Joseph Ambele did end up getting second in a lean over Matt Bowling and Lang, just two hundredths of a second back and forth. Well, I think Terrence Laird can thank Lance Lang for really putting the pressure on him in that first hundred meters. He came up on the inside and Laird, if he didn't see him, then he sensed him and he made a move with about 110 meters to go, just went to another level. But Terrence Laird is so good at standing tall and just turning it over. Great knee lift, great front side mechanics. His arms are in the right position. His neck is relaxed. Lance Lang doing a great job there in lane five in the middle of the track as well. But, oh, wow. Three outstanding sprinters in the middle of the track. Those great are finish, great times for a conference. 20.05, 20.06, 20 20.08, .08, legal here at the S. Arkansas. But as you see, the Tigers are on top of the table. And a lot of that is thanks to the man we're going to go out and talk to right now, Terrence Laird, another 
That's three, four by one, 100 and the 200. Are you running the four by four? Uh, hey, if they call my name, I, I line up. If they don't, I, you know, I support my teammates. So at this point, you don't, you don't know if you're going to go. No, I don't know. I do not know yet. Sorry. All right, so we can talk all day. Uh, no. So you got pushed to about 150 there in that race. Could you feel those guys? Uh, after, to be honest with you, after I got off the curve, I didn't feel anybody. Mm -hmm. And I just kept on going. I actually stumbled about like 160. I couldn't control my speed, and I kind of stumbled. My hips kind of sunk under me. So I just. Uh, Kind of just re-engaged my core and just kept on going as much as I could. 1985 is a pretty stout time. You knocked Justin Gatlin out of the SEC record book. How do you feel about that? I mean, LSU, we're sprints you, so got to bring it back. You know, we got the 100 now, 4x1, four 4x4, four four, and uh, 200. So, you know, bringing sprints back to LSU. All right, finally, I, I said I got to ask this. Why can't the Brewers hit? You, have, you guys didn't know this. Terrence Lord, big Brewers fan, he and I. Why can't the Brewers hit? It's awful. Uh, I don't know. They got to get, uh, maybe I can give some tips, you know. I'm doing things right, so maybe I'll give them some tests. They can do things right. <laughs> that's, that's what we, we need you to talk to Christian Yelich. Thanks. Go okay. say, go see if you got to run some more. All right, man. Okay. Thank you.